Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Glass Core. This is episode 10, and the first new recorded episode after a very, very long time. Uh, last episode with the previous footage and the replays that I recorded way, way back. Way back in February of 2016, and we're now almost at the end of 2016. After the end of last episode, I AFK'd for about two full days. Like, almost 48 hours of AFKing here, and we have a bunch of stuff. We have nine enderpearls, which is still not enough. I think, uh, I'm pretty sure I need ten. Um, so, we still have some AFKing left to do here, I suppose. But, there are more pressing concerns. Uh, I'm level 27, and the big thing... Like, the armor's pretty good, the pants aren't that great, but I have seven diamonds, so I could potentially make a new one. Um, shoes are really good, might be in need of a repair. This can be made better from uh, one of the books, I believe I have a Protection 3 book, yeah. So we could get that up to Protection 4 with that, and this is good. So, really, the armor is pretty good. The only real thing I need is a guest tier. Guest tier for regen potions. I'm not going to do the dragon fight in hardcore mode without regen potions. That is a thing that is just not happening. Let's put some of this stuff away. This is the health potion. One should be enough if I have fire resistance. Plenty of bread. Don't need two stacks of that. Don't need a minecart. Don't need to be carrying gold. Might as well carry all my iron, though. So, if you haven't seen this before, Glass Core is a hardcore series. That means if I die, that's the end of the series, so I'm trying to be ever so slightly extra careful, let's just say that. Now, I spent a full episode, several hours, trying to get a tier, and it didn't happen. Uh, I finally got one tier at the end of that episode, and it fell into luck. Now, one of the problems with that is I don't have a looting sword. Looting would be very useful. Even if I don't have the offhand slot, this is Minecraft 1.8 after all, there's still a way to get a looting effect to apply in this version. Basically, if I shoot an arrow, then a looting effect takes effect based on what I'm holding when the arrow hits, not when it was fired. So if I quickly switch to my sword with looting on it, then that looting effect still gets applied, even though it wasn't on the bow that I used to shoot. So looting would be really nice, um, and obviously I want to apply that book, so... Uh, looting one on a sword... It's better than nothing, I guess. Put that on the sword just to have, uh, just to have as a s to switch to. I don't know. I really want more than looting one. Okay, so what I think we'll do. We also have this uh, mob farm over here, and it's working really poorly. And I think it's mostly because it's pretty poorly built. I also, when I went through and made that recap that aired uh, two weeks ago, uh, realized that I actually passed by a double spawner. There's a place not far from here, uh, I can't remember exactly where, but not far from here, that has a double spawner that I could make into a farm. So I might do that. Um, I think the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take that and apply uh, where's the ammo? Here. Oh, uh, take off my chest piece and get my chest piece up to its full potential. Four levels. I have been naming things this kind of a tradition. I should probably be naming this too. What does one name a chest piece? Well, I am a lime after all. This is the iron peel. There we go. And that should keep me protected for a while. Now... That puts me down to level 22, so I'm going to need more levels. Um, I'll go back into the nether now. And that means I definitely want a potion of fire resistance on my bar. 
And this is kind of useless. We might as well put that there. Don't need that. Well, nothing more to it. Let's head on into the nether. Holy... Oh, whoa, 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 Hey there. Now. I just killed a zombie in the nether. <laughs> there used to be some weird connection between zombies and zombie pigmen. Uh, okay. Well, let's head on over here. There's a ramp down way over here to get down to um, a bit more of an open area where hopefully we should be able to find some quartz and lure up some ghasts. Now, this staircase is at minus, uh, minus 200, 100, minus 100. You okay? You, we, we okay, bro? Thank you. There's an open area out here, so hopefully you can get to this thing quick enough. Might be up above. Or if I'm lucky, it's behind this corner. Oh, oh bad. Where are you? Still this way, still sort of into the wall, can't get up there. Oh! give so much for <laughs> an ender pearl or <laughs> a litra at this point. A litra don't even exist in this version. There's a way down over here. Okay, there's a continued path there. We'll do that. We have feather falling. Come on. Don't tell me you despawned. Okay. So let's rush back up, if we can. Oh, it's close. Or, well, my sounds are loud. This is a big problem, because if I fall here, if it destroys this, then I'm screwed. Oh, it sees me! Where are you? Where are you? What? No! There's no boom. I'm assuming that means that it despawned before the, the shell hit the terrain. Because otherwise there would have been a boom. Mm. This is scary. I don't have any stone with me. So I can't really build any bomb resistant structures. Which means anything I stand on, if a gas fireball hits, it's going to blow up. Which means... The only thing that could possibly save me at that point is falling into lava rather than falling onto something hard. So, I mean, if I fall way up there, from there might be possible to survive it. It's so annoying. I really, really should make these into stairs, but I have nothing to make them into stairs with. Yeah, I have wood. Where are you? Die! <sighs> that didn't look like it dropped anything, but... There's a way around to find out. Uh, there's the XP. And of course, it had to fall into the most densely burning area. And let's just go smack things around this pig man. But no, I don't think it dropped anything. Hmm. Let's try to put out as many fires as possible though. Where are you? Is 
It's definitely that way. Possibly means we should be going back down. Probably means we should be going back down. Holy crap! Oh. Okay, down on there. Sure. I don't see the XP anywhere. I thought it was in this plateau. Uh, but I guess not. I... Oh, oh, okay. Snatch up this one XP ball over here. And then assume that the rest of it fell into the lava here. I guess I missed the platform a bit. Oh, well. It's quicker to go down than it is to go up. So, my reasoning is if I'm up here, I can quite quickly make it down there. But if I'm down there, I can't quickly make it up here. We're kind of standing guard. <gasps> oh, okay. Okay, I see. Let's first try to deal with this new one, if we can find it. Talk to me, baby. I guess that's the despawn. Has to be. Okay, so we're gonna try to make it through here. Okay, this is probably the closest access point to that. Yeah, let's try it. And basically, I want to hit this nether rack and nothing else because placing a block next to any of the gravel will make the gravel fall. And it's only XP. Oh well. Alright, so let's try to head back. There was a big love. Oh, it's up there. That is a possible shot. Okay. <laughs> now we have quite the walk. Okay, so I'm not 100% sure, but I think that was a kill over the drop rather than over uh, the upper part. That would mean that the XP should be here somewhere, and it isn't. So we have to go up and check. Might have been the lower part up here. The thing is, XP and... yeah, it's up there. Okay, XP and loot doesn't necessarily drop the same way. Okay, how do I think going up and around is the best? This is, yeah, this is a safe jump. And that is a piece of gunpowder. And that as well as possible if something fell down here, it doesn't look like it did. Huh. <laughs> that strangely doesn't seem so far away as it did when I was looking for it the first time. Uh, because I went ages in here, just looking for that stronghold, just digging up quartz. I must have gone the entirely opposite way. And there's level 30, so there's that. Um, probably going to try to get myself to 33 or something like that, and then go back out, uh, see if I can get looting. Because there sort of feels like a key here. I'm killing... Well, it is hard to track them. Uh, but I'm killing the ghasts fairly efficiently here, and it's not helping. <laughs> uh huh. Do I need to go up here? Aha! Uh -huh. That's over lava? That's maybe not over lava, actually. That's probably over lava. Well, the XP ball ended up just off the edge up there. <laughs> I might have done it again. <laughs> ah. 
Okay, yeah, stuff is here. And it's... Okay, then. Okay, so now we need to get down there. Uh, right. Yeah, back around. Ooh, don't fall down. Back around and up that thing. Uh, and then down <laughs> that thing is probably the best. And then around to the left. Down here. And to the left. Down onto this plateau. Here somewhere. Over here. No! <laughs> no, don't tell me there is a gap here. <gasps> Oh my god, finally. Oh, that's a guest here. Okay. Uh, up this way. Okay, now we have the bridge, and over here should be our exit path. Yes, I see it. Status check. We need 10 Eyes of Ender. We have 9 Ender Pearls. Preferably, we should also get at least one Ender Pearl so that we can save our ass by purling over from the platform if we start on a platform in mid-air like I did in my VR series. Okay, new bow. What do I get on a bow? I'm breaking three, I'm breaking two power on you. Okay, so that's poop. Protection four, protection four. Protection, protection four, and feather falling four, which is okay, but I really need protection four on legs too, and diamond ones would be nice. Uh, then, this is a great bow, but power 4 would be even greater. Actually, this is only power 3, right? Yeah, power 5 would be nice. Don't care about punch, really, but power 5. Mm. It's also a case for taking this off in the, the end fight. Mm. I have work to do yet. Okay. Um, while we're waiting for this to brew up, these are now awkward potions. Let's put the gas tier in. Um, best food I can get? Probably potatoes. So, let's get ourselves potatoes. Okay, so, we have one stack of potatoes cooking up. We have another full stack of potatoes here, ready to go. We have... Grab a redstone piece. Potions of regeneration. Let's lengthen those. Now, I don't think there's anything here that I will get that's good. So this is crap. This is crap. And this is pretty much crap. So, I mean, that's right. <laughs> um... Put efficiency one on that, I guess. I could have enchanted a pickaxe, I guess. Now, unbreaking. Yeah. Protection four. While a good enchant. Power four. Okay, good. Power power four. So if I put power four on this bow, I have a power four bow, power three bow. Now, if I only get another power three bow, or book. And I can combine those for a power 5 bow. Oh, power 4. Okay, so I need three more levels. And I need no bow, which is no problem. I have so much string around somewhere. And if not, then there's more string falling over there. Okay, so we'll make ourselves a new bow. That should get power 4. Combined with the other one, get power 5, and then combined with the first one <sighs> to get a power 5, infinity 1, flame 1, unbreaking bow. And that's what we'll complete this game with. That is perfectly fine. These are now regen 2 minutes. Thank you very much. Those will be very useful, I am sure. I might want to make splash potions of healing. Yeah, healing is the one, the most important thing. I mean, I 
preferably I would like more regen potions, but not going to do that now. Okay, so let's try out this thing and see if it's if it works anywhere reasonable. And there we go. Let's go up. Um, there's a lot of noise from this thing. Um, yeah, it's not great. It kind of works. It's not great. Um, now that we're already close to 30 all the time, sure, we'll keep using it. It's more efficient than building a new thing over there. Even though I'm a little bit ashamed of how poorly that is working. Uh, you're going over here. Uh, actually, <laughs> I'm going to go over here first and like dump the, all of the things that I've gotten as drops over there. Let's see, so these are the things that we need to enchant pretty much. Uh, where's the bow? There. So first thing we're gonna do is, oh dang, these combines are gonna take a bunch. So that's unbreaking and power, plus power, plus all of that. Flame, power, projectile, protection, or unbreaking. Come on. Um, so I still don't have any good way of enchanting that. Uh, doing the combines just gonna cost a bunch of levels. That's 11 levels. That's terrible. Seven levels. And this combine is seven as well. Okay, so we're gonna start with a seven. And that's 14, and this is gonna be more. Yeah. Let's. Uh, we might as well make it 15. We're going back down to almost zero levels anyway. Ah! This might have been smarter to wait and do the other order, but whatever. This bow shall be the dragon's bane. Ah. Now, <laughs> this is a bit of a different situation. Now I'm level 5 again. I guess back down we go. Alright, so here's a bit of good news and a bit of bad news. The good news is that while I've been sitting down there slaying zombies in the system, Two more pearls drop, so we basically have the pearls we need now to enter the portal and to have one spare to be able to get to the mainland island, well, mainland island, <laughs> to the main island of the end if we end up on a separate little piece. So that is really, really good news. The bad news is this is incredibly boring and it seems to have gotten stuck. I went up for a bit just to sort of unclog the system, get some stuff to despawn if I could, and we'll see if uh, that did the trick. It's not great, this thing. I've been listening for zombie noises for so long. Um, back at it, I guess. Okay, this should do it. Finally. Oh, that took so much longer than it should have. Oh, man. Let's head back up. And... I we still have two more enchants to do, I believe. And it's probable that I can't even do one of them right now, because... Let's see. I need new pants. Probably to repair these, but we'll do that last. New pants, and on those pants I need something, and that's pretty much it. Pants would get unbreaking. That's terrible, and I don't want to waste that. Book would get flame. Yeah, so we might as well just enchant a pick. Efficiency one, whatever. What will we get now? Smite, thank you very much, or projectile prediction four. <sighs> okay, we'll keep doing this. We have to get okay, protection four now. Two more levels. Then I'll get my protection four on my new shiny diamond pants. Um, one of these zombies look a bit different. <laughs> oh, diamond pants. Let's put yet some more rotten flesh away, and let's go enchant these. Protection four, and I'm breaking. Well, thanks. Uh, take these off and that is pretty much our armor set now We might have to take the helmet off and uh, Wear a stupid pumpkin instead might be how we have to handle this because I 
don't want to be fighting Endermen all over the place. But we'll see about that. <laughs> That's going to have to do it for today. We're basically ready. I'm going to need to do a little bit more brewing here. Because we have regens, but we only have one potion of health now. Let's see, I do have some sugar. So I can make some... Uh, Speed potions if I want that. I'm not entirely sure if it's useful, but yeah, I definitely want more health potions. So that we'll do next time and then it's end time. Thank you very much for watching Glass Core. This is Sliced Lime and I'll see you next time.